Hello? Hello? Hi Ben, good evening. Hello. Okay, so wait me a minute. I need to get the headset. Okay. Hey Ben. Okay. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So now Ben, let us have here unit 9C. Okay. So we have here listening university accommodations. Okay. So we have here the topic and listening. Okay. First, we have the word accommodation. Accommodation. So when you say accommodation, it is a place to work or stay in. Okay, it's accommodation. Wait me for. Okay. Next is hall of, hall of residence. It means a building. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay, when you say hall of residence, it's a building for university or college students to live in. Okay, canteen. Okay, so this canteen. one canteen, it's a place where food and drink are served in, okay, in a factory, in a school. Okay, next is university. University, it is. An institution at the highest level of education where you can study for a degree or do research. University. Okay. When uh when uh after your junior high school, uh, no senior high school, you will be you will go to university. Okay. Another one is uh, wait me a minute, Ben. Okay, Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Okay, so next one is 
Okay, next one is landlord. Okay, flat first. A flat is... A flat is a set of rooms for living in, usually on the floor of a building, like it's like a apartment that we call flat. The landlord is a person or company from home you rent, a house, an office, etc. That's landlord. Okay, so look at this, Ben, if you will gonna describe the photo. So who are these people and what are they do doing? Okay, you can write your description about these two people and what they are doing. Okay, you can write it here. Okay. So they are they are boys. Yeah, of course they are boys. So probably they are a yeah, I know Ben, they're boys, but they are a students. They are students. And and what they're doing? They're doing something about music. They feel they may be relaxed. Are they relaxing? And they feel something about the music. Okay. So we are the university students, and they're relaxing in the room. Okay. So that is it. Okay. Would you like to live in a place like this, Ben? What do you think? Would you like to live know. in a place like this? I don't know. Just in the future, just in case, when you grow up. Do you like to live in a boarding house or in a flat like this? Because, because just for example, you will go to Hanoi, you will study there. Okay. So I guess that would be far because as far as I know, Danang is in the central part of Vietnam, right? Yeah, right, Ben? Danang is in a central part of Vietnam, right? Yeah. I mean yeah. That. Yo, that central part of Vietnam. And Hanoi is in the south, uh, no, north. And Ho Chi Minh is in the south. So just in case you will study in Hanoi. So that's quite far in Danang. So of course, you will have to stay a boarding house, a dormitory like this. It's a place where students can live, okay, while they are studying. Okay, so like that. So another one here, Ben. Okay, can you answer, Ben? Can you put some words? Okay, this is only example. Can you put some words to complete the text? Please, I already have some answers here. Wait for a minute, Ben. I'm not feel comfortable. Okay. Okay, Lord. Okay. Okay, so what is your answer?
Excuse me, Ben. Ben, I have stomach ache. Patayin na, day. Igit ka pa, igikuan ka, day. Igikuan na, ito sa kami, day. Ay. Okay. Okay, so in the UK, most university students live in a hall of residence during their first year. A hall, of, a hall is a building owned by university for the students. Students usually share no, bedrooms. Okay, so and toilets, but some bedrooms got their own bathroom. Oh, is that your sister? And yeah. excuse me, I will just go to the bathroom. Wait me for a minute. Sorry, Ben, because I got stomach ache, Ben. <coughs> okay. <coughs> okay. So, students usually share bathrooms and toilets, but some bedrooms have got their own bathrooms. Some halls have also got kitchens where the students cook their meals. In other yeah. students only sleep, they go to the university canteen to eat the great uh, they are great places to make new friends. There are great places to make new friends also. So in the second and third year of the study, most students move out of halls and rent accommodation. So this is only for the first year. So because on the first year, students really don't know where to go. So university will provide them some place where they can go so some place for them to stay so after that second or third year it is up to them if they were going to stay in the accommodation or in the hall of residence or they can 
go rent accommodation they can rent house it is up to them the open share a flat or a house okay for okay with other students like you have friends like you have four oh we can go and share a flat there so it is better okay so students can borrow money from the government to pay for their living expenses at least in uk so oh that's very good they can borrow money for their living expenses so that's good okay so so is the university accommodation the same for university students in your country how about in vietnam ben if you will go to university so will there be like this also that they will stay in the in the halls of residence have you heard about that no oh no not yet so not, uh, you're not, not familiar uh, ah yeah. you're not familiar but in the philippines ben we do have here some university the big university ben they have what we call the hall of residence they have like that in the other university Okay, so but other university also, but the other university also, uh, they have uh what we call it as uh they have what we call it then as the other university, they have what we call it also as boarding house or dormitory. We call it dormitory in the Philippines. Dormitory, it is a place. It's like a hall of residence. They are just inside the university. You don't need to go out then. It's inside the university. There is a big house. Students can stay there. But they have to pay it to the school. So here. So we have now, since we are talking, listening. So please, Ben, try to listen. This is quite funny, Ben. You try to listen some of the pronunciation in the British. Some of them is quite... So slang. So please try to listen and try to match. Just put a line. Okay. Listen now, Ben, for some of this uh, pronunciation. Lesson 9C. Exercise 3. 1. Going to. Gonna. 2. Want to. Wanna. 3. Have to. Have to. Four. Can you? Can you? Five. Are you? Are you? Six. Do you? Do. Seven. Did you? Did you? Eight. Don't know. Dunno. Nine. Kind of. Kinda. Ten. Lots of. Lotsa. Eleven. There are. There are. Twelve. Can I. Can I. Okay. Yeah. So we have here. Let us check about going to. What is it going to? Okay. Going to it means. Okay. Letter D. Gonna. Okay. Want to. Wanna. Yes. Have to. Have to. <laughs> Very slang, man. Very slang. Okay. So you will call us. Okay. Can you? It's. Kenya. Okay, it is Kenya. Okay, are you? It is are ya? Are ya? Okay, do you? It means letter F. It is do ya? Do ya? That's in Brit British. Did you is letter C. Did da? Okay, don't know is dona. Okay, kind of. It's kind of. Okay, it's kind of. It's kind of. Okay, the most common here band that we use, uh, we can apply is I don't know, or it's kinda, it's kinda, it's kinda, it's kinda actually. It is next is lots of, it's letter H, it's lots of, lots of food. Okay, there are, it's 
there are. Okay, and can I? It is kana. Okay, can I is kana. Okay, that's it. So here, very good, Ben. Wow, correct. So at least you learned some of the British. You can uh, you can hear that the British accent is quite strong. Okay, so we have here. Next is you listen and complete the questions. Okay. Lesson nine C, exercise four. Can I get my... One. Where do you live? Two. What are you going to do at the weekend? Three. What do you want to do when you leave school? Four. Can you speak any languages apart from your own language and English? Five. Do you have to pay to study at university in your country? Six. What kind of job do you want to do when you finish your studies? Hello? One more? No, I don't even know their language. Aha. So I don't know Five. what to do. Okay, just listen and complete the questions. Like example number one, then actually is correct. Where do you live? Okay, it's hard, right? What you're going to do at the weekend. Okay, how about this? What do you think? Just do not listen. What words? You add four words, Ben. Add four words. What blank do you when you leave school? What do you want to do when you leave school? How about number four? Two words. What do you think are the two words you will add? Okay, okay. Um... Can you do it? Okay, just don't listen because it's quite long. Do you speak? Yeah, it could be. Do you speak or can you speak any language apart from your own language? Okay, five. It could be can you or do you. Number five. How about number five? I think it is... Ate. Okay, what do you think? Okay, do you have to, very good, do you have to pay to study at university in your country? Number six, six words. Six words, number six. Okay, what do you think? What are the six words do you think that is that will fit with this sentence? Uh, I don't know. Okay, it's hard. Okay. What kind of job do you want to do when you finish your studies? Okay, that's it. What kind of do you want to? So six words. Okay, quite hard, Ben, right? <laughs> okay. So here, Ben, please tell me, okay, some of these questions. Okay, so you can write this one in the chat box if you want to or you can write it here okay i mean you ask i answer okay it could be okay you want it okay i will yeah. ask and you answer okay where do you live um, wait 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 in my Opinion. Ah, uh, your opinion. Okay, <laughs> okay. It it is up to you if you will gonna write in the chat box if you find it hard. Wait, wait. wait. It means I answer about mine. Be like, where do we? Where yeah. do I live? Yeah, yeah. That's about you. Okay, I will ask question now. Yeah. Okay. So where do you live, Ben? Uh, in the central Vietnam. 
in the central Vietnam, somewhere in Da Nang. Okay, what are you calling? Near Da Nang. Near. 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 Ah, not, not, not in Da Nang. Near Da Nang. Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to do at weekend? Um, um, go to the beach. Okay, go to the beach. What do you want to do when you leave school? In the future. Um, after school? Yeah, after school. After university? Yeah, after university. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do... What do you want? Why are you laughing? I'm going to do, um, if I can, I can be the game designer. Wow, you want to be company. a company. Wow, you want to be a, a, a game designer in a big company. Wow, that's great, Ben. You're so amazing. Okay. Can you speak any languages, Ben, apart from Vietnamese and English? No. Um, no. Okay. So, do you have to pay to study at university in your country? Are you familiar with that? Yeah, in every in every um part of my school. Ah, uh, you have to pay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. One more. What kind of job do you want to do when you finish college? Um. I'm going to do a game designer. Okay. You want to be a? Game designer. Okay. You want to be a game designer. That's your ultimate dream. Okay. So next one. So you thank you, Ben, for answering my question. Please listen to the conversation and complete the questions. Okay. So you have here. This is easy. Lesson 9C, Exercises 6 and 7. Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Yes, I'm going to start my second year at Bristol University in September and I'm looking for somewhere to live. What kind of place are you looking for? I don't know, really. Well, do you want to live in a shared house or are you looking for your own flat? I'm not sure. I suppose a flat is going to be more expensive. Probably. But it depends where it is. A one-bed flat near the university is going to cost about seven or eight hundred pounds a month. But if you go further out, to the edge of the city, you can find one for maybe four or five hundred. That's quite expensive. I've got two friends who I can share with. Then a house is better for you, I think. How much does it cost to live in a house? Between about £200 and £400 a month. That's cheap. About £70 to £130 each. No, £200 to £400 per person. Oh, OK. Can you show me some houses? This one is outside Bristol, £250 a week. It's got a nice big dining room and living room. And there's a dishwasher in the kitchen. I really want to be closer to the centre. OK, well, this one is £300. It's about a mile from the centre. There are lots of shops and restaurants nearby. It's in quite a lively part of town. Lively? So, quite noisy? Yes, I think so. This one's in a quieter area. It's £320, sharing with two others. It sounds great. Is there a shared bathroom? Yes, it's a shared bathroom. Do you want to visit the house? Yes, please. Are you free at the weekend? On Saturday, yes, but not on Sunday. OK. I'll ring the landlord now and make an appointment.
Okay now, Ben? Again. Okay, again. Lesson 9C, exercises 6 and 7. Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Yes, I'm going to start my second year at Bristol University in September and I'm looking for somewhere to live. What kind of place are you looking for? I don't know, really. Well, do you want to live in a shared house or are you looking for your own flat? I'm not sure. I suppose a flat is going to be more expensive. Probably. But it depends where it is. A one-bed flat near the university is going to cost about seven or eight hundred pounds a month. But if you go further out, to the edge of the city, you can find one for maybe four or five hundred. That's quite expensive. I've got two friends who I can share with. Then a house is better for you, I think. How much does it cost to live in a house? Between about two hundred and four hundred pounds a month. That's cheap. About seventy pounds to one hundred and thirty pounds each. No, two hundred to four hundred per person. Oh, OK. Can you show me some houses? This one is outside Bristol, £250 a week. It's got a nice big dining room and living room. And there's a dishwasher in the kitchen. I really want to be closer to the centre. OK, well, this one is £300. It's about a mile from the centre. There are lots of shops and restaurants nearby. It's in quite a lively part of town. Lively? So, quite noisy? Yes, I think so. This one's in a quieter area. It's £320, sharing with two others. It sounds great. Is there a shared bathroom? Yes, it's a shared bathroom. Do you want to visit the house? Yes, please. Are you free at the weekend? On Saturday, yes, but not on Sunday. OK. I'll ring the landlord now and make an appointment. OK, let us see. Let us see your answer. What kind of place are you looking for? Very good, Ben. OK, number three. Ben, can you please read number three? Or are you looking for your own flat? Correct. Wow, four. Can you show me some houses? Wow, can you show me? Great job. Bye, Ben. Do you want to visit a house? Okay, do you want to visit? Correct. Wow. wow, very good, Ben. Really, Ben, you're ready for pre-intermediate now. Six. Please do read. Do you free at the weekend? Do you free or, or, or are you free? Are you sure with your answer? Do you free? Do you free? That is, are you free at the weekend? Okay. So that is, are you free? Not do you free? Okay. Or you will use do you free, Ben, like we will say. Do you, uh, do you love music? Okay. Do you dance? Okay. Do you uh, swim? Okay. So that's do you. Okay. So here. This is very easy. You will have to listen again and say true or false. Hello. Lesson 9C. Exercises 6 and 7. Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Yes, I'm going to start my second year at Bristol University in September and I'm looking for somewhere to live. What kind of place are you looking for? I don't know, really. Well, do you want to live in a shared house or are you looking for your own flat? I'm not sure. I suppose a flat is going to be more expensive. Probably. But it depends where it is. A one-bed flat near the university is going to cost about seven or £800 pounds a month. 
but if you go further out, to the edge of the city, you can find one for maybe four or five hundred. That's quite expensive. I've got two friends who I can share with. Then a house is better for you, I think. How much does it cost to live in a house? Between about two hundred and four hundred pounds a month. That's cheap. About seventy pounds to one hundred and thirty pounds each. No, two hundred to four hundred per person. Oh, okay. Can you show me some houses? This one is outside Bristol, two hundred and fifty pounds a week. It's got a nice big dining room and living room, and there's a dishwasher in the kitchen. I really want to be closer to the centre. Okay, well, this one is three hundred pounds. It's about a mile from the centre. There are lots of shops and restaurants nearby. It's in quite a lively part of town. Lively, so quite noisy. Yes, I think so. This one's in a quieter area. It's three hundred and twenty pounds, sharing with two others. It sounds great. Is there a shared bathroom? Yes, it's a shared bathroom. Do you want to visit the house? Yes, please. Are you free at the weekend? On Saturday, yes, but not on Sunday. Okay, I'll ring the landlord now and make an appointment. Okay. Okay, number one. So the student has just finished her first year at the university. It is okay. It is true. You said it's true, teacher. Okay, she's certain then that she wants to live in a flat. So it means, uh, so it means she is sure. Okay, false. Oh, she is not sure. A house costs between seventy pounds to one hundred thirty per person. Okay, that is true. Okay, the first oh. house. Okay, that fall. Sorry, the first house band is that in Bristol. I don't know where's Bristol. Okay. Oh, it's true. Friend is not in Bristol, so it's true that it isn't in Bristol. Okay, five. The second house band is in quiet area. The second house band is in quiet area. Okay, true. The student is free all weekend. The student is free all weekend. Okay, it is true. Okay, false. true. Oh, sorry, false. What happened to teacher? False. The student is free all weekend. That is false because the student, of course, is not free all weekend. Okay, move this one. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, one mistake. One mistake, man. We have here one mistake. Somebody, okay. Let's move in. Break up again. Okay, so here. So now here, Ben, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of sharing accommodation while at university? Okay, use the phrases below to help you describe what are these advantages. Okay, so you can use, you can use this one. You can probably... For others like that, okay. Please use that one. I will just put it here. So I say, or it's up to you if you will say or if you will write. Say, okay, go. I can, you can probably make what? friends. You can probably, yeah, of course, that is for sure because you will be. Okay, sharing accommodation. So that is advantage or disadvantage? It I is can make friends. Okay, that is advantage for you. Another one, you don't have to what? I don't have to share the household because you don't have to share the housework. Yeah. Okay. Except uh, doing the cooking. Okay, 
she didn't share the house or except cooking, but just in case you didn't like to cook, okay, you didn't like to, uh, you didn't like to cook with someone or you don't like to cook. Uh, your meal or you don't like to cook uh, you eat some something from someone example no 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 okay. yeah. wait, wait. example you don't want to cook with your subs or you want to cook something for yourself so it is up to you okay how about you probably can't what i can't Cook for myself. Okay, you probably can. Yes, you probably can cook for yourselves. Okay, so that it. But if you will be in the university, then you have to remember you need to be independent. So that is it. You need to be independent. We'll watch first. Okay, you probably have to what? I have to share my. I have to share the bills. Okay, you yeah, of course. You probably have to share the bills because you are living there together with your friends. housemates or your classmates or your friends. That is, it is already expected then that when you stay in other place together with your friends or your classmates, of course, you have to share the bills, electricity water and internet okay that's it because it's very important okay so now ben let us have okay actually ben we only have how many minutes left okay we've got sorry one minute more okay so ben okay these are the things that we learned in this what in this unit 9c listening so tomorrow ben let us have unit 9d okay Unit 90. So you will be with teacher at 8 a.m., right? Tomorrow, am I correct? Tomorrow. Oh, Tom oh. yeah. We will yeah. have makeup class tomorrow because teacher did not have the test uh, class on Friday. So tomorrow, 8 a.m., your mom told me, please don't be late tomorrow. Please be on time. Wait, wait, wait. 8 a.m.? A.m. Morning. Morning then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want early, 7 a.m., it's okay with teacher. Okay, okay, if you want, okay, you want early, okay, it's okay with me. Oh, if you want to go <laughs> early. Okay. 8, 8, 8, 8 a.m. Oh, 8 a.m. Okay, thank you so much, Ben, for tonight. And I will just give you the homework tomorrow. Please do your homework, Ben, okay, so we can check it together. I am missing your homework already. I want you to do with you and we will have to check it here okay okay go ben okay thank you for tonight ben and i will see you tomorrow please on absent 8 a.m sorry my hands okay bye bye